inviting balance, finding that sweet spot between two polarities or two extremes or just finding some harmony uh, within and that's been something that's been really important for me to explore. I've been going through this big life transition and coming kind of to an end of a very deep and big healing journey where I've been in lots of extremes and I think I'm now exploring the other side of that extreme I've been living in for such a long time being a lot in the very masculine energy of structure of of action of moving forward of logical thinking of yeah really being in that in that energy and the last years I've explored more and more letting go of that and my need to be rigid my need to be um, strict and disciplined with myself and discipline is not a bad thing it's just for me it got out of hand and I'm now exploring the total opposite the, the very feminine the being in the present and slowing down moving with whatever is moving being fluid and receiving Now I really feel like I want to integrate uh, the masculine energy with intention and with awareness so I can find some balance and harmony within these two. But I'm so grateful that I explored a deep side of the feminine because it kind of opened up so many doors for me. It opened up so many... Uh, manifestations to come through and and I've just been enjoying uh, flowing with that river of abundance in different forms and shapes. I wanted to make this video a long time ago but <laughs> Being in my feminine, I, uh, I couldn't grab a hold on all the stuff I wanted to do because there was no structure, there was no like uh, discipline and intentional uh, form of, of the things I was doing. But now I feel like it's coming, coming into the Capricorn season, it's really I feel it really deep because it's it's my sun sign um, I really feel like uh, the need to get a little bit more uh, on top of myself it it comes through life is uh, endless exploration of just trying different things and going outside your patterns a little bit and um, questioning your your beliefs your perspectives um, and the way you do things and that invites growth it invites openness it invites uh, flexibility and that's kind of what i think this time has given me a lot of flexibility uh, and a lot of a kind of objective view on myself
And with this, I guess I just invite you to reflect a little bit upon the polarities in your own life, maybe with the masculine and the feminine, maybe with other kinds of polarities like the difference between grief and, and love or happiness and sadness or yeah, <laughs> anything that invites polarities within you. Yeah, they're all just two sides of the same coin. A question that has been coming up for me is that how can I hold these extremes? How can I hold these polarities and, and bring them together? Um, yeah, so I invite you to do the same, I guess, <laughs> for the time moving forward. Thank you for watching and for spending this time with me and I'll see you soon <laughs> now that my masculine structured energy is coming back. <laughs> I will be more active uh, and just again share what's alive in me.